So let me ask you about you. Okay. So you are a transgender. Yes, I am a transgender. So you yes. were born a, a boy, a male. Oh yeah, for sure. You were born a male. Yeah. And so you were born a male. Mm -hmm. And so you were just walking down the road and you decided, <laughs> I want to be a transgender? <laughs> if that's the way it worked, that somebody's walking down the road and they just decide they're going to be a transgender, <laughs> then people be flipping genders left and right faster than people flip pancakes at Denny's. What because made it you, doesn't happen like that. What made you decide, you know what, I just don't like being a boy. Okay, if when I was three years old, if you would have asked me, you would have said, listen, I got, I got a pill for you, you can take, and you're just gonna wake up the next day and be a girl, I would have taken it back then. But the technology just wasn't there, and it still isn't there, as you know. So to, to trans, for someone to transition, you have to go through all these procedures and all these steps, right? So I always, as a kid, knew and was told, my family's very conservative, you know what I mean? Growing up, we were, we were Arabic. Were you raised with your father and mother? Yes, I was. Okay, you're They're, Arabic? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you're three years old, mm -hmm. and you feel like a girl? Oh, yeah. At three years old? Maybe even before. And what does a girl feel like? Um, I would say that I will never know biologically what it feels like to be a a natural born girl or woman, but I know what it is like to feel feminine internally. And to me, femininity, uh, from the way I was raised and brought up, femininity is, you know, um, uh, just certain characteristics that I gravitate to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. That I just am naturally uh, uh, accustomed to much more than the male characteristics of like, let's say like, aggressiveness, sports, you know what I mean? Right. As a kid, I never played sports. I never liked sports, you know what I mean? I was always playing with dolls and, you know, being, just, it, was just, it was just a natural thing. And of course, as a kid, right away, I was taught that that was wrong. Right. You know what I mean? I was put in my place by my father, who was a really strong man, an amazing man, a great man, and he fit the paradigm of what you say, where it's like mother, Father, father, head figure, mother, that was my household. Right. I forget how you say it. How do you say it? God in Christ, Christ in man, man over woman, woman over children. Well, it was in all that, but he wasn't so much with the Christ because he was, you know, <laughs> right. Arabic. But, um, right. you know, it was, yeah, he it was, was all with, that. He uh, was Allah u Abba. Sure. <laughs> so you still feel like a woman? Yeah, of course. Yeah, and, that doesn't change. And that so change. you feel feminine? Sure, yeah, of course. I, you know, and I think now, you know, my, my feeling now is that gender is evolving. Like, I kind of used to be close, believe it or not, even look at me now, you would never guess, but I used to be close-minded myself about gender, and I thought it had to be man, woman, or trans. But now there's like a thousand different genders, so a person can be gender fluid. It's not even now, it's always been, but now people have uh, names for it and can describe it, so I don't put myself now in a box. I'm definitely transgender. I'm definitely in that category. But sometimes, like, like in my dating life, for example, I date men only as a full on woman, not even like this with like boobs and hair. You know what I mean? That's the kind of the men that I attract and the men that I like, I yeah. date as a female. Now, if I'm like running errands or, you know, going to the store and all this, I don't put on all this makeup and everything. I just look like, you know, maybe the bus boy that she went and served you your dinner at your restaurant. I don't know, you know, I just look very... You look you know, like a boy when you don't dress up? When I don't, yeah, but, and I haven't done surgeries or hormones or anything, which I don't, I, I don't, maybe one day I will, who right. knows, you know what I mean? And anybody that does, that's great, you know, but for me right now, it just hasn't, you know, it hasn't happened because like I said, I'm not Kardashian, so I can't just go buy right. all these plastic surgeries and everything. And, so uh, you still gotta, have all your boy body parts. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah everything. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Does that feel weird, putting on a dress and makeup and eyelashes and things like that, and then you have boy body parts? I'll be honest with you, Jesse, the men like it. I the men no like it? No joke. The, the men like it. What they do you mean do. the men like the, it? I, like, I date guys like this, uh -huh. but even more, like I said, feminine looking than I am now. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like... Yeah, the men, they don't care what's from the waist below. They kinda, they, it's kind of like a turn on for them. And I don't consider those guys gay because they're looking at me like the image of like, a it's woman. like a female, but it's like a chick with a, you know what? I don't want to say, I don't right. want to cuss around here, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm trying to be respectful of your pastor <laughs> and everything, that. so I'm not, you yeah. know what I mean? So you're not normal. I mean, 
being a transgender man dressing in women uh -huh. clothes and, and like this and women dressing in men clothes is not a normal thing. It's due to a trauma. You know, something's happened along the way and you overreact it and you become like what you overreact to. It's not like normal, normal for a man to dress like a woman or feel that way or a woman to dress and feel like a man. That's your perception and your analysis that that the if you were you should you should and I prayed before this interview that maybe <laughs> you would open my mind a little bit and right. maybe I would open yours. You're right. So I, my, if if God is listening, I hope God will enter your heart right now and just open it up a little bit to maybe feel what it's like to be in my shoes instead of just looking at it from your shoes because you were born comfortable the way you are. So you don't know what that feels like. So to just say that this is just a feeling and it's not the real thing is not really fair because you, you didn't go through it. So you don't know. But you know? it's not the real thing. I mean, I understand the trauma, but... There ain't no trauma. What's the trauma? Uh, I'll tell you what the trauma is in a minute, but um, it's, not a, it's, not, it's not normal. It's not the real thing. But in your mind, it may f seem to be real because of, you know, the trauma. Maybe you're too close to your mother or you resented your father. And, and you I love my parents. I uh, don't have no resentment. In were fact, you molested or anything as a child? No. 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 So was your mother an angry woman while she was pregnant with you? <laughs> no. No. They you came up with this equation like trauma equals transgender. Right. And like I'm trying to tell you and I hope I can open your heart to see that that's not what it is. It's just the way that just like just like you have dark hair. I'm transgender. Just like you know, you have brown eyes. I'm trans. It's not even a big deal. But I don't know? feel my hair and eyes. I'm not feeling anything about it. But let me ask, uh, you, you think You would God be feeling something about it if the rest of society, uh, if there wasn't one other person on earth with dark hair and dark eyes. In, in other words, if you were the minority, because transgender, we are the minority, but it doesn't mean it's not normal. You know what I mean? So it's just like an albino person, right? right. Might feel something about their albino it's because they stand out. But you know why they feel that way, right? Because society would uh, tease them about it or whatever they do. That person would become angry about it, being treated that way. And the moment you become angry about it, it awakens something inside of you, those emotions. Because in that very moment that you become angry, you're traumatized. And so it awakens those emotions. And now you don't feel like yourself anymore. You feel like a transgender. I disagree. No, that's what caused it. I disagree. But what if, caused if someone it is him God about made me this way and loves me this way and, and it's a miracle. Why and everybody who's watching who is a transgender or is a gay person don't ever think that it's caused by nothing but nature and God and God loves you. So you think God made you a male mm -hmm. and he would uh, confuse you like that to make you think you're a female? No, see, God didn't confuse me. What confused me was the, my parents and everybody else telling me that there's something wrong with me. And even, you know what I mean? And that, or, you know, that, the, which does, it doesn't confuse me now because I know who I am. But, you know, you telling people that trauma causes, that's what confuses people. Right. But the feelings that people have are who they are. If you have a happy, you have to forgive. Don't hold on to it. That thing, would that identity would have been taken away from you, that spirit. Uh, and then you would have had your boy okay, spirit Okay, let, let's do this right now, Jesse, since that's the problem, since that's my problem, right? And let's, not just you, all let, the men. Tell me what this trauma is so I can overcome it, and let's see if I still want to put this dress on. You let's ask God right now, overcome my trauma, Lord. So I mean, and I bet you, I, not even I bet you, I just asked for it. Let's see. Jesus, Lord, I love you. I believe you. Thank you for everything. Please <laughs> overcome my trauma so I can stop being a transgender. You're playing with him I'm now. He's not going to do anything like I that. I still feel the way I did. You but I, mean? I want to guarantee you, without a doubt, has someone come along while you were younger and people were teasing you, you were going through this, you were embarrassed, and they had, had a conversation with you, found out what the problem was, and told you, you know what, no big deal, forgive them. And then God would have forgiven you for being angry at them and he would have taken that thing away from you, then you would have grown up as a man. I want to guarantee you that that would have confused me further no, it would have and kept you me up. further from being happy and honestly kept me more in a prison 
uh, than ever. No, you, you, you believe that, but that's not true. Do you believe God is a perfect God? Yeah. And do, do you believe that all that he does is perfect and good? Yeah. Then why would he do this to you? Because it is perfect and good. It's because not. Trans yes, of course it is. Tra transgender is perfectly perfect and good. And in fact, God wouldn't have even and taken it this far to where you could transition and you could do God all these didn't amazing do that. things. Your father, the did. devil, did that. <laughs> my, my father. <laughs>